The EPA has just put a hold on reducing unnecessary animal testing. Five years ago, it announced ending that type of research by the year 2035, but now that deadline has disappeared. And now some federal lawmakers are upset with the agency. Here's I-Team reporter Scott Taylor with the exclusive to break it all down. Uno, the first beagle rescued of 4,000 beagles rescued at a Virginia breeding facility in 2022 <laughs> is a big hit on Capitol Hill today. He's going to get very fat this week. <laughs> Uno and other rescued beagles are starring in front of lawmakers after the Environmental Protection Agency canceled its plans from 2019 to phase out unnecessary animal testing by 2035. White Coat Waste Project, a D.C.-based taxpayers watchdog group who helped push for a federal deadline is not happy with the EPA. Unfortunately, we need transparency, accountability, and benchmarks for these federal agencies, or they'll just continue business as usual, even if that business is torturing animals. The EPA has now eliminated its phase-out dates, and that has prompted a letter from a bipartisan group of 37 congressional members that raises concerns regarding accountability and transparency. Dr. Paul Locke, a professor at Johns Hopkins University tells 7 News it's important to develop acceptable scientific agendas that promote the replacement, reduction, and refinement of animal models in biomedical research. The way the goals were removed was done almost as if it was magic. One day they were there, poof, the next day they were gone. The phase out of unnecessary animal testing was supposed to start in 11 years. Now it's up in the air unless lawmakers can change the minds in the Biden administration and the EPA. For the I-Team, Scott Taylor, 7 News.